Building an AMD based PC is like a gift that keeps on giving. You not only get the cutting edge performance but you might also be eligible to gain awesome DLCs or even the entire games altogether. If you are buying a new AMD Ryzen 5000 G series processor then you might be eligible to get a one month subscription to the Xbox Game Pass for PC. And if you are buying a system built with an AMD Ryzen processor and an AMD Radeon graphics card then you might be eligible to get another month added on to it. Xbox Game Passes for PC has hundreds of games, AAA titles that you can enjoy on your AMD powered PC right off the bat. These include titles like Halo, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction, Hitman 3 and more. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Florence. You are watching Digit and in this video, we'll be having a look at the AMD desktop processors which come already equipped with the AMD Radeon graphics. Yes, I am talking about the Ryzen 5 5600G and the Ryzen 7 5700G. Both of these CPUs can really get the job done in case you want to do gaming. It has got iGPU that is the premium Radeon graphics that will really let you do gaming and in case you want to do production like workload or video editing or any kind of 3D workload so this thing has got a Zen 3 cores and this thing can really get the job done. By the way this video has been sponsored by AMD so without wasting any more time let's just get the video started. Specification wise Ryzen 5600G is a hexa-core processor with SMT enabled and it's a 65 watt TDB processor. This thing can give you 3.9 GHz base frequency and up to 4.4 GHz boost frequency. The combined cache is of 19 MB and the AMD Radeon iGPU in this one has 7 compute units that can max out the frequency at 1.9 GHz. So those were the specs, let's now see how it fares against the AMD Ryzen 5 3400G from the previous generation. Now coming to the comparison of this CPU with the previous gen CPU, here we notice that the 5600G is 39% better in PC Mark 10 and Cinebench R20 single core benchmark and a whooping 118% better in Cinebench R20 multi-threaded benchmark. Also it's 23% better in 3D Mark Time Spy when paired with a discrete GPU. Now finally coming to the fun part that is gaming, let's have a look at that right now. The 5600G is great for esports titles like CSGO, League of Legends, Dota 2 and even if you want to play AAA titles like GTA 5, Metro Exodus or even Assassin's Creed Odyssey then this will really get the job done. Have a look at this graph where the 5600G is compared with its competitor at the same price range. Now talking about the professional workload, this thing can easily handle your Adobe Premiere Pro, your applications like DaVinci Resolve because it's having 6 cores and you know 12 threads, this thing can also handle your 3D models in Keyshot and even in Blender. So in case you're trying to do these professional workloads, this can really work out for you. Again, have a look at this graph. You can see that this 5600G is able to outperform its predecessor and its competitor in the similar workloads. One more thing which needs to be remembered is that since you are using these CPUs that have the AMD Radeon graphics inbuilt and these Radeon graphics itself come with a lot of benefits. So if you use the 5600G, you will be able to use all of those features like the AMD Radeon Anti-Lag, like the AMD Radeon Boost, the Fidelity FX Super Resolution that is the FSR, etc, etc. By the way, FSR is something that you should really consider having a look at because this is something which can give you extra performance without changing any kind of hardware. It's just like a magic tool which will actually run your game at more frame rates because it renders the game in a slightly lower resolution and then upscales it to the native resolution that is controlled by the various settings like the performance preset, the balance preset, the quality and the ultra quality preset. So in short, FSR is just like magic, so do try it out. FSR is compatible with a lot of games and I'm just going to put them on the screen right now. Now talking about the compatibility of this 5600G and the 5700G CPUs, let's just say what kind of motherboards can you use for these CPUs. So these motherboards will be B450, X470, A520, B550 and of course the X570 chipsets. So in case you have got these motherboards, you can just you know pop the CPU in and can start using these new CPUs and in case you want to upgrade and if you do happen to already have one of these motherboards then simply head to the support page of this motherboard website and see if there is a BIOS update which supports Agisa 1.2.0.3b or the newer BIOS. If there's a compatible update you can simply update your BIOS and use your current setup with the new Ryzen 5000 G series CPUs. Talking about the conclusion, let's have a look at the AMD Ryzen 5000 G series processors are about giving gamers and content creators the choice and flexibility to build a PC that caters to their every single need without breaking their bank. You've got the power of the AMD Zen 3 cores coupled with the premium AMD Radeon graphics resulting in a combination that is hard to beat. 